Hello everyone, welcome back to Journal Output, it's me Zainab al -Taf. In today in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can install Windows 11 on your unsupported PC. So this video is going to be really amazing and this is going to be a very very easy method. After watching this video, you are able to install Windows 11 on your unsupported PC. So for that, first of all, I'm going to open the PC health check in which I'm going to show you that my PC is also not able to install the Windows 11. After clicking on check now, here you can see these are the requirements requirements these things are missing in my PC and my processor is not able to install Windows 11 but don't worry I'm gonna show you the whole method how we can do it so now beginning with the method first of all you need this uh, file ISO file of Windows 11 which is present right here I have just downloaded it uh, so let me show you as you can see here this is the ISO file of the Windows 11 that you need for the first step so you might be thinking how from where you can download this so this is the website the link for the website is in down description box you can get it from right there uh, scrolling down here you can see download Windows 11 disk image ISO file here you have to select Windows 11 and click on download and you can easily get downloaded with the ISO file so this is going to be your first step you have to download the ISO file of Windows 11. Uh, the next thing that you need is the bootable USB of Windows 10 that should be present. As you can see here, I have the bootable USB of Windows 10 which is present right here as you can see here. So in total you need two things. Uh, the first one is bootable USB of Windows 10 and the second thing is the ISO file of Windows 11. You can see I have both of the things present right here. So the first thing that we are going to do is to go in bootable USB of Windows 10 and here we are going to open the folder which is sources. So let's open the folder. After opening the folder we are going to locate a file which is with the name of install.wirm. So let's locate that file. Uh, the file is right here. We are just going to select the file and we are simply going to delete it. Because we actually don't need this file so we are going to delete it and click on yes. So after deleting this we are going to open the ISO file of the Windows 11. So let's open it. And here we are going to again locate the same file going in the sources first. Let's click on it and again going, going to locate the file from right here. So this is the file right here. We are just going to drag this to copy this file to the bootable USB of the Windows 10 from where we deleted the file. So we are just going to wait for it until it gets copied. So now until it gets copied, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to receive every new update on time. So now the file is successfully copied and I'm just going to close the other stuff and I'm going to show you the file. Uh, as you can see this is the file that is successfully copied and I'm going to close this too. So remember your USB must be inserted in your PC and now we are just going to restart it. You can also shut down it depends upon you. We are going to now go and install it. So now go and boot options. And now here we are going to select the USB, the flash drive in which we just edited it somehow. Now just press any key to boot from USB. So now here are the, we are on the installation setup and here you have to select some of the options and click on next. And now we are going to click on install now. Now the setup is starting. Let's wait. So here it is asking for the key of the Windows 11. So if you have it, you have to give it. If you don't really have it, then you have to click on I don't have a product key. If you have it as I have it, so I'm giving it and click on next. So after that, you have to click on this. I have accept the license forms and click on next. Here you have to select this option, which is custom install Windows only advanced. And here you have to, you know, if you really want to format this, uh, the drives and the partitions, you can do that stuff as I'm doing. And after that, you have to select a drive in which you want to install the Windows and click on next. After that, it is going to take some time. So until then, subscribe to my another channel that is Gamers. And the link is in down description box. And also share this video as much as you can. And give a thumbs up to this video. So now we have to just restart the PC. So let's click on restart now. And our PC is restarting. So now it is just uh, get, getting things ready. So we have to just wait for it. Now we have to wait for it in just a moment. So now it is just starting. Uh, 
After it's get started, it is asking for the country or the region. Select that and click on yes. And the next thing is that it is asking for the keyboard layout or the input method. Select according to your choice and click on yes. After that, it is saying if you want to add a second keyboard layout, you can do that. Otherwise, click on skip. Now, if you have the internet connection, you can easily go with uh, cl and click on next. If you don't have, as I don't have it, so click on I don't have the internet. Okay, so now it is, you have to click on continue with the um, limited setup. Now it is asking for the name, uh, which is going to use the device. So let's give the name and click on next. After that, create a password, enter some password and click on next. Again, enter the password for the confirmation and click on next. And now we have just to answer some of three questions. So select according to your choice three questions and answer them and then click on next. After that, we have to uh, agree these all and click on accept. Now it's just taking a moment, so let's wait for it. So now as you can see, we are successfully in the Windows 11. We are successfully in here. We have successfully installed it and we are in the Windows 11 in our PC, which was not supported, but we are in it. So now here I'll go in settings and I'm going to show you this is Windows 11. And let me go in here and you can also get it for check for updates because there it is going to be, you know, more updated if you check for this. And I'll go in here. Let me show you. So as you can see, this is Windows 11 Pro and I have given the key so it is showing that activated. So as you can see, it is successfully installed and it is Windows 11. The PC was unsupported, but instead of this, we have Windows 11. So I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching the video.